Grand rising. Okay, so I feel great. It feels like an energetic new year. It is um, probably like 8, 10 in the morning. I've been up for a little minute. I had a beautiful photo shoot yesterday and I'm drinking my drink again. Um, Kai is here, so I'm not terrified to drink it. And I'm gonna be having my ritual. In here, I do have sea moss, but I just feel like right now, I'm just kind of doing the best I can with getting all of my nutrients in. Yesterday, I did not do the best as far as my health goes, as far as eating a lot of things. So today is gonna be a heavy food day. Um, I have my juice smoothie it's really good probably put too many dates in it but it's still amazing my ritual vitamins these are the only prenatals that I've consistently taken I took I don't really take pretty I don't take supplements period without being pregnant so the only two times that I got somewhat sick in my pregnancy was when I took vitamins and because I don't take vitamins I don't really consciously remember that you have to eat like a full meal with it so I was feeling crazy and I was like oh my god is this morning sickness but when I put two and two together and when I called my mom she's like oh it's the vitamins so and then after that incident I switched over to ritual and my most favorite thing about these prenatals is that you do not have to take them with a meal if I have to do anything regimented I have to do it first thing in the rising otherwise I'll forget and not only does Ritual have a prenatal, but they also have postnatal. They also have essentials for men and women, and they have vitamins for kids and teens. One of my biggest hesitations with even taking a prenatal was the lack of transparency that I found in most of the brands. As a crazy obsessive label reader, nothing was very plain for me to see where they were sourcing the ingredients from. And when I found Ritual, they were just that. Ritual also had all of the key ingredients that I was looking for in a prenatal, like folate, omega-3 DHA, vitamin B12, and vitamin D. If you guys are interested in trying out Ritual for yourself, you guys can get 10% off your first three months by going to www.ritual.com slash findguru and entering findguru as your promo code. So my fresh juice today is gonna consist of fresh celery, cucumber, honey crisp apple, and a lime. And then later I'm gonna add some sea moss. Once again, like I said, I love getting all of my vitamins, nutrients, and my prenatals in, in the beginning part of the day. This juicer, um, I don't hate it. I don't, I mean, I don't love it. It works very, it's easy to clean and it's super efficient, but I definitely could pass it through like two or three times. So I'm gonna start off with my cucumber. I like to put it on high. Then adding my celery. My honey crisp apple, my favorite apple. And I have two apples. Okay. And it is My first trimester and second trimester, I, there's a, there's a bath there. Um, I probably had celery juice like every day. Um, yeah, I probably had celery juice probably every day in the beginning of my pregnancy. And I feel like it helped my skin to start glowing. Right now, up to the foam, we have about 30, to, I would say 30 ounces. The foam is going to get a bit thinner. But what I like to do is add some sea moss. I'm gonna add one huge spoon of sea moss. Because, or no, let's just add two. Two spoons of sea moss because I have my 92 vitamins and minerals. Y'all already know, say it every time. 
And you can be extra and blend it, but nobody got time for that many dishes. So mix it up with my sea moss and then I can pour. And you see there was no like clumps. So that means the sea moss was pretty blended. And mm. honestly, I love celery juice. You just feel so clean. Um, now you do wanna beware for those people that don't have good digestion or can be eating crazy. Celery juice for some people can be it, it can clear you out. So if you have celery juice for the first time, it's probably best to kind of stay home like for minimally like an hour after, just in case. But when you drink it regularly, it just maintains and cleanses and it, you don't really have all that extra stuff you have to deal with. And I have some for later. And it looks like I have here um, additional 20 ounces. This is my date smoothie. with flaxseed, hemp seed, banana, coconut water, and um, barley. Okay, so we are gonna be making my morning smoothie and this smoothie actually scared me about a week and a half ago because right after I started feeling like a lot of pressure, like, it just was a lot. So here are my ingredients. I am gonna take coconut water, my green boost, my hemp seed, as well as my dates. Starting off with dates. Dates are great because they actually um, thin out your cervix. And I like to use anywhere from, kind of depends on the volume that I'm making, but any at least six dates. Then after my dates, I like to add my hemp seed. Hemp seed is great for plant-based protein. I basically like to treat my morning smoothie like I'm not gonna eat for the rest of the day, which obviously isn't the case, but I always like to get all of my prenatal vitamins and nutrients as soon as I wake up, just in case I'm caught slipping throughout the day and I'm not eating as frequently or as healthy as I can. I know I got everything in my morning smoothie or in my morning breakfast. And the thing about me is, I don't measure so you know you just gotta you just gotta mix in until the spirit tells you to stop and then I like to add my green boost and my green boost has 410 percent of vitamin K in a two tablespoon dose so here's one and Here's two. Once again, you guys have seen this in multiple videos and it basically tastes like um, matcha. It gives it a matcha flavor. And as and even though it's barley, barley grass, um, it doesn't taste grassy at all. And then to soften the dates, what I like to do is soak my dates and concoction into some type of liquid for at least an hour. You can also set this up overnight in mason jars as well, um, but sometimes I, I don't do that. And just because I like to make sure that every ingredient has a purpose, I like to use coconut water. Coconut water is great for lactation and it's also ultra hydrating, so soak it in some coconut water. Okay, so soak it in some coconut water, blend it in. The biggest thing is just making sure that the dates are submerged and the dates are submerged. Leaving it in for an, minimally an hour will help blend the dates. If you kind of like texture in your smoothies, then you don't necessarily have to, but it just, and it also depends on your blender. I have a Nutribullet 
and the Nutribullet is really good with blending, so I don't necessarily have to wait, but if you want something silky smooth, just, just wait, sis. Do this like right when you wake up, or like I said, even the night before in a mason jar, and you'll be good to go. Okay, so now we're back. Um, definitely hasn't been an hour, but we can pretend. I'm just being real for the camera. So all my ingredients are there, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend. I want you to take note of the rockiness, that's the date. So granted, if you were to blend this longer, it wouldn't sound like you're blending rocks, but um, yeah, it's definitely doable. And now that that's blended, it's pretty much blended smooth and we have 500 milliliters or, what is this? Um, about, we have a little over 16 ounces, but I'm gonna actually add the rest of my ingredients. The rest of my ingredients consist of a little bit more water, um, a banana, flaxseed, which flaxseed has so many vitamins and nutrients that are great for a plant-based diet. So I just, until, until I'm done, I put that in there. And then a banana. Bananas obviously have great potassium, and honestly, my baby loves bananas, so I just eat bananas. Because the flax seed as well as the hemp seed soak up water, I like to add a little bit more, but it kind of just depends on the consistency that you like. If you like a thicker consistency, you don't necessarily have to do that. And because I'm extra, 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 I personally don't need to, um, I don't like adding my sea moss until the very end. Sea moss is very delicate, okay? So any type of heat or excess processing, I personally, it doesn't resonate with me. It might resonate with you, you might boil your sea moss, you might blend your sea moss 100 times, I personally don't. So I'm gonna put a little bit, that's a little bit, and this is a little bit of sea moss inside my smoothie, and blend it on very low. I'm gonna blend on low. And that's it, pour. And it's pretty smooth, could be smoother if I had let it sit longer, but it's not that important to me. And I have one cup. And the Green Boost is really good for blood as well as your skin. Um, the Vitamin K hat helps with your skin elasticity and obviously if you're growing, you want your skin to be elastic. Obviously your Yoni has to do some things and you want it to be elastic and be able to snap right back. And it's also good for your blood. It cleanses your blood, skin, everything. And might be a little too thick for the straw. Mm -mm. Mm. That's so good. This tastes like a Japanese dessert. Like matcha. It just tastes like, it tastes good. What does it taste like? Do you wanna try it? <sighs> Thank you, tea, earth. So in my head, I have told myself to drink this red raspberry leaf tea and nettles tea um, daily, but I have not. But, really good I finished a whole teapot of red raspberry nettles and I'm gonna put more water in it and let it steep overnight so that I have a whole teapot tomorrow as well but honestly like tea just does something for your soul like I just feel like when you drink it it just if you drink tea to enjoy tea, it just 
and me being an avid tea drinker not being able to really have tea throughout this pregnancy this is literally like so comforting and ritualistic for me over grand rising it is march 7th 2021 um it's probably about eight o'clock something like that 7 30 in the morning i've been up for a minute and it is time to hydrate. So I'm going to be making my morning water. And people are like, what do you mean making water? Yes, make water. So how I like to make my water is, I did not bring prenatals with me, or actually I did bring prenatals, but they're not, um, they're not my prenatals that I use. They were like extra ones that I had and I particularly don't like them. So because prenatals are just things that you should get naturally in food, my prenatal that I take is CMOS and my daily green boost. But I don't have my CMOS because I'm traveling so I'm going to just use my daily green boost, um, a lime, and three waters. So that's how I make my water. This jug right here helps me track my, my water intake. So this right here is about 50 ounces worth of liquid. And I um, try to consume at least two of these a day to get 100 ounces of water. Thank you water for hydrating, nourishing me, and my rara. Thank you, Cream Boost, for providing nutrients to me and Ra. I nourish my body, nourish my soul, are gentle to my body, gentle to my skin. And I use like a heaping spoonful. We don't do measurements over here. That's why when I do my recipe videos, I'm like, eh, I don't really know because you know, you just wait till the spirit tells you that's enough. And I put that in first and then I personally like to mix it first because it can get clumpy. So if you wait till it gets, if you put all three water bottles in, then it's just, it just gets too full. So I'm only gonna use one. You can use two. See how it gets clumpy. This clumps all around and it's just easier. You can even see that. It's just easier to do it when it's just one versus two. I'm gonna add my second bottle of nourishment and love and water for my womb to protect and hold my precious rod. And then here is the third bottle. And nourish my womb and hold my baby safe and sacred. I'm not gonna fill it up all the way so you see like, you see I have some water left because I want to put lime juice in it. So I'm gonna just take this to the head real quick. Never have the spring water. Um, it's spring water, so that's all I really care for. And it does not have any fluoride in it. So it's not my favorite, but it doesn't have fluoride and that's all I really care about. Um, now that it is all done, I then once again mix it up. It honestly tastes like iced tea. Like when you put lime in it, it tastes like tea. Mm -mm -mm. And 
and we are good to go. So right now I'm gonna have a um, organic apple and banana. And then the Daily Green Boost, I wanted to just read some of the nutrition facts on here. Um, this right here says it has 4% of calcium, 18% of iron, 14% of potassium, 100% uh, vitamin A, 10% um, vitamin C, 410% of vitamin K, which is great for your skin. Um, I have not got any stretch marks yet. Not that stretch marks are a problem, but between um, eating, drinking, my CMOS, um, frequently, definitely not daily, and sometimes even not weekly, and then having this, I have so much vitamin K, aka elasticity for my skin, allowing my skin to stretch um, on its own terms, and I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but... I feel like that yoni snapback is going to be great too because of the elasticity in the vitamin K. And I don't mean that to be, um, y'all you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, diamond? Diamond? Diamond. Diamond. It's 10%. Folate is 27%. Magnesium is 10%. Manganese is 27%. Uh, chromium is 11% and molly denim is 57% and that's with two tablespoons so this is great to use in my opinion vitamin b2 vitamin b3 vitamin b6 vitamin b12 boron copper vitamin e lithium phosphorus selenium and zinc so this right here 